Hello everybody, welcome to the fi the grand final of Blitz Pit. Um, I came through the winner's bracket, Cornite um, has come through the loser's bracket final for a rematch. Uh, so it's just the same as the previous match. He's got five guard, but only one wolf um, and two ghouls. Um, I only have the one ghoul and only four guard, but two block mighty wolves. And we'll be playing now and we've got, uh, of course, Fimir. Skuro's come back, and we've got Dimmy G, the champ as well, joining us for the final, so I shall hand over to those guys and come back at the end. Cheers! Hello, guys. Hello, everybody, and we are here, the finally, the final, the true final of the final day of the final bliss. Just in so, case we didn't get enough finals in there, it is the grand final, folks. The final starts now. Where are we? <laughs> it's, the fin it's the final game. Yeah. Oh, all right. Final. Okay. <laughs> yep, the grand finals. Uh, Jim going in in the capital W winner's bracket. Corn Knight coming through in the lowercase l loser's bracket. Both these guys with a chance to win the big money. And, uh, you know, if you follow Jim's stream, you know he really fucking needs it. So we're all <laughs> pulling for Jim in the booth. It's his stream. It's his show. Let's fucking go. Yeah, so one of the things with uh, Jimmy coming through the, the winner's final is he does get to choose whether he wants offense or defense. And uh, he selected offense quicker than a fat kid <laughs> eating a cake. <laughs> I, th that would have surprised me, but I, I didn't catch the previous game, and it sounded like that colored Jimmy's opinion a little bit of, uh, of uh, not starting on offense because he, uh, he had to start on offense against... Um, against Corn Knight in the previous game that they met in this tournament. The only other game I've watched, so from where I'm sitting, this entire tournament is just Jimmy banging on Corn Knight, I think. <laughs> Two wolves on one. Yeah. That's uh, pretty accurate. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, if you if you didn't see the last game, there was two removals and a stun on the LOS for the Corn Knight's uh, Necromantic against the Orcs. Uh, oh. Through. It did swing. It swung the drive completely. So it's yeah, one sure. of the most comfortable drives that I've seen for a team in Blitz Pit so far. And so, and so Jim must have been doing some hard drugs, thinking he was going to get a removal off the LOS. Himself. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Said to Jimmy, I was like, "There's no way you're gonna. You're just gonna have the most disappointed LOS." And then it's. Yep. Uh, well, here's the second hit. Oh, gets himself a stun. Could that be the best of it? This is the exact same LOS he had in the last game where he's uh, sacrificing the fourth hit to keep the wolf nice and safe and back. Almost, I, I mean, this, are we sure we're not watching a replay of the last game thus far? Yeah. We could just put the replay, you know, and just uh, share the money prize. Evening, I guess if it's, if it's not broke, you don't fix it, right? So yeah. you just you, you stick with it. Uh, unfortunately, Jimmy hasn't managed to chip anything. Corn Knight will be probably the happier of the two. Absolutely. Um, so, but I mean, like, there's there's still a lot of Blood Bowl to be played, and it, it is game on at this point. Yeah, I just, uh, I, I really think I prefer Jimmy's build in this kind of tournament. The two wolves is just, uh, I mean, he failed the pickup in the first game, too. Uh, the two wolves is just, just gives him in this mirror match, just seems to give him more of an advantage uh, than the uh, extra ghoul does uh, on Corn Knight's side. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I, 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 uh, got told off a bit because I slated uh, <laughs> I slated Core Knight's build and uh, he's made the final to be fair to him so yeah. uh, I excellent was, coach yeah I yeah yeah no I, I just didn't like the one wolf like I thought because previously in um, Blitz Pits the, the one wolf has been a necessity through costing yeah. and uh, obviously Necro got a bit of a buff and stuff and we, we saw four different Necro teams and they were all very different Necro teams as well <laughs> um, uh, but yeah like I think the one wolf probably plays a bigger factor in the mirror than it does in any other game because I think the wolves are just clearly the best players on a necro team. It's just like Jim only has to take one player out to basically cripple the team. Corn Knight really has to take two, two out, if not three, uh, to have the same effect. Yes, the thing an extra wolf gives so much uh, opportunities. Gym, you know, to be able to use them uh, one to attack, the other to defend. Oh, we're setting up the claw mighty blow hit on the golem here, and this is it's an massive. exact replay of the first game. Yeah, like this is going to be huge if he if he does chip him here. Yeah. 
Jim not playing dwarves, what is this? I know C-Sabs, right? This is an alternative universe where... Uh... Oh, and uh, so a little... little. Uh... Oh, no, he's not. Not even going to dodge that wolf. That uh, in their first on. matchup, you probably didn't see it, Tim. In the first matchup, uh, Corn Knight on turn one with his wolf went right into the shittiest of the shithead necro plays. I'm pretty <laughs> sure he was playing mind games with Jim just to try and tilt him <laughs> off the planet, but it worked out for uh, it worked out for Corn Knight that turn, and then basically nothing since worked. I, I didn't. I, I did miss the first uh, the first game, so this is uh, a new experience for me. Um, but uh, <laughs> I have heard about it <laughs> already. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. an interesting play. <laughs> and, uh, bang or be banged, I don't know. What's, what do you say? It's just uh... Yeah, I mean... Satterfield. Yeah, that is true. Core Knight does compete at the highest level. Jim, uh, a two-time SFL flameout, has played two games of SFL and uh, couldn't hang. So uh, that does give Core Knight a bit of an advantage uh, coach skill-wise. Well, no, he's an SFL winner, isn't he? I think he's the not. I think Kadenik won the last one, but Corn Knight the one before. No, I think I won the one before that. I I think, <laughs> I think I checked these stats yesterday. We're on uh, eight now or seven? Oh no, we're on eight now. So yeah, okay, yeah. I'm the winner yeah, three five. I think, I think That's a two-time winner. It's hard. It's hard for me to keep track of because between me and Kadenik, we've won fifty percent of the tournaments. Wow. So. Wow. Yeah, it, 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 you know, it's a it's a little rough to keep track of all that history. I mean, I mean, basically, Blitzpit is irrelevant, right? Because uh, the two best players in Blood Bowl aren't in it, like Kadenik and Skuro. So you know, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does get the claw mighty blow here on the flesh golem? Gets the armor break, just a stun, and this is definitely a dodge. Hundred percent a dodge. Maybe not. No. Because if the frenzy trap, yeah, there is a frenzy trap there. Do you see frenzy uh, trap? I mean, but he can blitz the golem into the middle, and then it's two into two. Is it two into two? No, because there's a guard white there as well. Okay, kind of awkward for Jim. I oh, was just gonna go for the golem <laughs> again. Yeah, looks like he's going for the golem. Oh baby, oh, big Andy raid Davo. coming from Andy Udavo just oh, in you time. Go. For the grand final, they're all going to be watching an ad right now, so we'll uh, we'll give them a minute before we say hello. Oh, big KO there! And uh, yeah, this, huge. This is uh, the shades of the previous matchup. Every hit, just a KO, just getting things off the pitch. A little scary. This is a corner that has the more guard, but. The guard, the extra guard is in the Agul, which is uh, risky. Put, you know, in the line of fire. Absolutely. And hello now, yes, hello Andy, hello Andy Davo viewers, thanks for coming over. You are watching the grand final of Blitz Pit number whatever. It's Jimmy Fantastic versus Corn Knight. They met earlier today. Jimmy took the win in overtime. A miraculous uh, push to make overtime by Corn Knight. But Jimmy was able to outlast them and looking to uh, looking to uh, repeat that, if not a little easier, to get himself uh, his first ever Blitz Pit Championship. But uh, Corn Knight, no slouch. They're both playing Necro, and uh, we've got a game in our hands right now. What a game we have here! Uh, seems that uh, Jimmy has decided to pull his whole team in just one big pile of bodies. I mean, that's one way to deal with Frenzy, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yep, absolutely. All that that hard. Frenzy. That's the kind of setup that I'm sure Andy Davo would love, you know, to see. A lot of players pack, a lot of chances of chains, surfing or whatever. Yep. Andy's Andy Davo this... also, winner of the Blitz Speed with a high elf team, so... Respect. I love high elf teams, so yeah. <laughs> This uh, this game, uh, this matchup here, looking a little different from earlier. The team's a lot more connected and uh, based up here than we saw in the first game. It's a lot more defensive by both Corn Knight on defense and Jimmy on his first offense. Uh, Corn Knight kind of out of necessity because he was down players from turn one, uh, but now they're both right in it. And this is this could end up being a bloodbath one way or the other. It just takes a few armor breaks. Yeah, there was plenty like, of those like in that. the last game for Corn Knight. There, there we go, there's a KO. So 
At the moment, we're trading a flesh golem for a white, so I think Jimmy might be happy with the two. But I mean, obviously, not happy about the uh, the white there. But um, again, the massive advantage of having the two werewolves versus just the one. So, see how it pans out. No armor break there on the werewolf. All survives, and now the question is, whether you blitz as Coronite. Probably the zombie with the white. I mean, he can he can blitz the front zombie and chain the yes. white back. That's what that was the the one I was thinking. Yeah. I think Jimmy's just happy anytime. Oh no, he is gonna go in there. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say anytime he's not blitzing with the wolf, but he is getting the blitz there. It's not a dodge. I thought it was a dodge at first. Does leave him in there though? That's the problem. He can't chain them both. Yeah. So. Well, I think we've seen Cornite before. Be oh, he fails the oh, GFI. Now he must have reroll. Yeah, have, he's got to reroll to protect the wolf. You're definitely gonna see him four plus three plus out of there. Well, this is a, a sticky situation. I guess the four plus is better because otherwise the wolf could get surfed as well. Yeah, so. absolutely. He's definitely. Oh, he can't four plus three plus. He can only four plus two plus. Oh, he's not. Oh. There is a chance that the wolf gets a hit and chain it, chain it into the other wolf. Yep. Scary times. This is not what you want when you've only got one wolf against two. And this is exactly what we were talking about with the team matchups uh, in this mirror match. Him can set up a foul here. Is what Andy thinks. So. Yeah, he's gonna set up. Probably, probably got a good chance at setting up a foul here. I don't think he needs the foul. No, nah, I wolf? don't think he needs the foul. Too oh much, so. well, he might Whoa. not get a chance. Oh, this could be bad for Jim though. Now that his wolf is gonna be sucked in. I think if Jim can, I guess he can't really get a great foul on him, but oh, I think if Jim kill. can foul that wolf, he wants to. That well, doesn't look like he's gonna. So we're on turn four. I mean, we're, <clears throat> we're ahead of schedule, right? It's, this is absolutely fine. He just needs to reposition. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is... There's no risk. There's really no risk to the drive right now for Jim. Did I think we lost Famer? No, no, I'm here. Oh, no, you're I'm here. here. I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Someone let Discord made a weird oh. sound, and you're the only one not talking. Yes. <laughs> and then I was thinking that now they seem that the both coaches have agreed to bash each other every single time and whoever survives wins yeah, yeah. I, I agree some guy but if you get that wolf off the pitch that's that's basically game for corn knight oh, oh that's a real well. that's, that's, really really but that's huge i mean the good thing is about him not being ko'd and cast into regen is the fact that he's guaranteed to come back whereas the uh the ko for corn knight is not guaranteed to come back so there is some kind of weird like happiness from the Kaz regen over a KO. I mean this somewhat looks like Corn Knight I mean not that he really has any choice in the matter is, is going to be conceding the touchdown here he's not going to be able to defend against that ball going forward. Well if he rolls a couple more pounds uh, is he going to 1D this wolf? Uh, why not? I well, I can think of a couple reasons why not. <laughs> <laughs> Those two claws on each hand would probably yeah. be the big, uh, the biggest ones. You can uh, use a reroll. Yeah, that's fair. Where's he going? He's going back. GFI, another GFI. There we go. Yes. Just gonna usher him up the side, the sideline there. Maybe not the worst thing. It is early. 
And he's early for Jim yeah. to push that side yeah. home. This poor zombie in the back here. I don't know well job at KG in uh, Jim's uh, team. More or less. I mean, there is not many options uh, to yeah. go with the wolves. I'd, I'd claw might blow the uh, the white into the golem here. Yeah, I agree. So, yeah, I think we're going to see the claw might into the white into the golem, and we we just step that white up one square, and then yeah. Does he's uh, he's going to be dangerously exposed to that wrestle ghoul though. Yeah, this is. I mean, it's going to be some dice, but I think I think it's the worthy dice to take if you're Corn Knight. Oh, so he doesn't even need to step the white up, to be fair. So, yeah, I guess the pal. <clears throat> and now he's got the ghoul, uh, the white free as well to uh, probably come to the right side of the ghoul, is what I'd expect, yeah. the, the right-hand side of the ghoul. Mind you, he has got to leave the back. Yeah, the back door is open with the, the werewolf there as well, isn't it? So... That's what I expected, but one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, there is. Oh yeah, okay, that fixes it. Yeah, that closes it, yeah. it off. Yeah, that fixes nicely. it. Oh, Ooh, maybe does not. it fix it? <laughs> does, does it fix it? And that is kind of worth a reroll, but it's only turn five, and he's only got two. I, I would. Can see him holding off here. He's thinking about it. I don't know. I yeah, would. It's one in to, it's a one in on a blodger, and it's GFIs. I think I would. Yeah, I think I think I reroll that. And now Cool Knight just wants to get himself off this uh, stand firm. Yeah. I mean, he could even claw it, to be fair. Oh, 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 oh that's a big one. Might ha he might have to. Yeah, I think I don't hate it, to be honest. Like, if he gets a Kaz, like, it's actually pretty good for Cool Knight. I don't think he's stopping the score. Like, I mean, obviously, stop it. Like, forcing the early score is probably the objective for Cool Knight, but. I think. The problem, second, the problem is. Secondary objective is to Kaz the. Them. Yeah, yeah, see here's the problem though, he can't activate that ghoul until he does this, so he had a little bit of risk there. Because he really needs that wrestle ghoul to be in a position to be threatening next turn. Yeah. And it's just gonna get smashed with mighty blow and claw. Ooh. What? Oh two D on the uh, Yeah. Yeah. Wonder why why he's not pushing that wolf the other direction. It is interesting. I I'm not sure why. Yeah, I don't know about now. Uh... Doesn't it feel like that ghoul, the ghoul, ghoul, the white, and the wolf can just run to the right now? I think he this... wants the wolf away from his wolf. I think that's yeah. the logic, but yeah, I, I'm not sure. I mean, his wolf wasn't going to be blitzing though this turn. Or that yeah. one that's on its back, like. <laughs> yeah. I, I I fully expect to hit on the ghoul here. Yep. Got to move the ball lot. first. This is awkward. Yeah. Is well, a... he could have made. Oh, okay. No, okay, he's doing it that way. Pushing for pause with frenzy. <laughs> First one fails. Oh, that's a horrible result for Jim. Yeah, yeah he can't sure re-roll that. Yeah, he's getting wrestled. Get wrestled. That's a horrible result for Jim. And but now protecting the ball is not going to be all that easy. I guess it's not there's be not a lot of movement. Yeah, there's not going to be a ton of movement to get around there. Oh, the double pushes. He can go into the flash goal though. Le double pushes. So now he can base up that free zombie. So it's not not terrible. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Yes, the yeah, it's gonna the end of the world. Miri, laying him down. Is there a one D there? To there, there is, is, but it's like a four three. Oh, two, he, he two. can just he can just bring someone up for the assist. I mean, he could he could go for the rowdy. No, if he, dodge. if he just brings up for an assist to clear this wolf, he can bring the the he can uh, 
I think he'll need some GFIs, but he can bring the Wrestle Ghoul around. Hang the on, back one. way. Yeah, he needs yeah, to one D. Oh, uh, what's oh, going on there? No, no, no. He can one D the wolf, right? He can one D the wolf. I think that's what I would do. Huge stun there. I think uh, Jimmy is really pressed to score next time. Not yet, not yet. It depends on the next two blocks. <laughs> I mean, I he might, might not be even lucky he... to score next turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think he. Oh, and there's a Kaz. It's just a zombie, but it's no regen. All right, there is a bench. Not the end of the yeah, world. Here we go. Two D to clear it. And then how does he want to do it? Does he want to do it with Wrestle? He probably does, if he can get him down. He does. He might be going with the white here. He's a little oh, no. blocked. Oh, I think the white's the assist. Uh, no. The uh, white double GFI, the and then he goes in with the Wrestler. The Wrestler, one, two, three, four, a, five. Yeah, I think it's going to be the white. No, it has to be the white. The white. On, on a unless he's dodging up, it has to be the white. Yeah. No, three, four, five, six. Seven. Oh, G yeah, it's a double GFI. Yeah, it's the power. That doesn't matter. <laughs> there you go. Blodge is a lie, ladies and gentlemen. No armor break. Pretty good square for Corn Knight. Oh, this might be unnecessary. Yeah, I just like standing there, to be honest. <laughs> well, that takes a lot of pressure off a of gym there, but uh, this is still pretty horrible. One yeah, he can't no the ball there with a chain. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yep. This is uh, there he goes. And now, um, Jim still has to score a turn early, though, doesn't he? I <laughs> still got a style and profile a little bit. Just and there it is, Jim scoring. Pick up. But two turns, Corn Knight could, uh, could, could be dealing with a lot worse here. Yeah, yeah you mean what's really close? What have we got? Both, I think, uh, uh, the Golem's back. And then, yeah, so KO Wyatt didn't come back. But it so, is a, a zombie KO. It's a zombie KO for Corn Knight, I believe. And uh, no, it's a wrestler uh, ghoul. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, the wrestle ghoul, which is, I mean, okay. It's okay. It's a good change, you know. You uh, losing a white, but he lose one ghoul. Again, uh, this is the problem I see with Corner's uh, team, you know, who carries the ball. Now he has to use, obviously, the <clears throat> the ghoul, but that's giving up one guard player. Yeah, but that's just, I mean, it's better than he had last game. Where he had yeah, the yeah. <laughs> the last time only had a wolf. <laughs> Jimmy leaving the goal there to be hit if a corner wants to take the chance. Yeah, he's, it looks like he's relying on the pow on the sideline. Mm. When does that ever work out against Stan Firm? <laughs> um, 50% of the time. Mm. 
Oh, <laughs> no percent of the time. At least it was a proper roll. Oh, and he pow. does get it. And the break. That's a pretty nice break for him. Yeah, that's not. He's got the two whites as well. He's going to need some GFYs without a reroll. And then he also needs to shore up the goal. <clears throat> so this is no GFYs. I'm assuming we want double. No, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. No. How far is that well away? One, two, three, yeah, this... four, five, six, seven, eight. There's a guard there in there. Yeah, it tags the guard needed to do that. Nah, this isn't we'll going to be... <laughs> I don't think he can make... He, boy, I mean, he can surf it, but... It's going to be like red into one. Question is, where is he... How far up is he bringing the ball this turn? Uh, oh, he's not oh, nowhere. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> not one square well. is the yeah. One square is the answer there. I mean, that is the ideal scatter. If you're gonna fail the pickup, that is the square. Yep. That you want it to go to. Yeah, it's three out of eight. He can base the ball with one of the wolves. He wants. Yeah, I was just looking at that. Uh, do you go for the wolves? Uh, do you go for the bolt? Well, I mean, I think one of the... Well, I guess the wolf... Both wolves can affect the play more. Yeah, I don't know. I do like attacking the ball in these situations just because there's no one there to help them. It's just the GFIs could fail. Yep. GFI, bad clenching in Darlington. <laughs> it's hollow, isn't it? <laughs> Darrow. Yeah, so yeah, Jim is going up to the ball there. He gets the wolf on the ball. It's pretty much not going to be a score. He does. It's going to be rough. Yeah, it's uh, like a four plus, three plus, massive pass. Like a five plus, maybe? Four plus, three plus, five plus? Well, Cornite is an expert in doing a four plus, three plus uh, without any problem. <laughs> well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because Jim can't score, so he can roll whatever dice he wants. Like it's, uh, I'd, yeah. I'd probably go for the four plus, pick up the dodge out rather than even blitz the wolf. There we go. And then it depends on, uh, depends on the pick up on like whether we need to re-roll that, whether we make the GFIs or not. I think you take that uh, that free hit on the. Oh, I would have taken the hit. Nah, it doesn't make the pick up. Yeah, it wouldn't have mattered. I think I would have taken that hit on the on the white first because it's so unlikely to all work out. Yeah, I I kind of agree with you. That's good. Surprising. Pretty, pretty tight the first half, but the. Uh... I mean, it's the perfect result for Jim, right? Uh, one nil. Uh, he's only got ten players, which is a little concern. The ghoul does stay out for corn knight. I mean, I would say the wrestle ghoul is more relevant on defense, than offense. Um, the guard white staying out is yeah is the biggest uh, calamity. Calamity? Well, uh, it's the biggest concern. Biggest disaster. concern. It's a, it's not a disaster. It's a, it's a mild annoyance, I would say. I, I'd go mild annoyance. But yeah, if you're, if I mean, at the end of the day, with two werewolves versus one, like you still got to favour the werewolves, right? Yes, especially when the extra piece you got for the werewolves is out. Yeah. The guard white is 
sore. It is sore, but it's it's not a golem. Like if it was a golem, it would be way worse. <clears throat> what kickoff event do we have in the final blitz pit? Very, Very sunny. sunny. Okay, that's not a bad one. That like I think both players will probably be happy with that. To be honest, Jimmy probably is happier. Than it's, not, yeah, it's, it's not a game-changing, absolutely nonsense kickoff event, which is the killer of amazing games, right? So. Another flaccid LOS. Yeah, like uh, not not the same LOS that we saw against the Orcs, that's for sure. <laughs> now the question, who do you blitz? Or even if you blitz? I don't blitz, yeah. If I do blitz, it's with a golem on a zombie. And then even then, I don't really know if I blitz. Problem is with blitzing with the golem with the zombie is like the two claw mighty blow wolves. I mean, he might take a pot shot at the goal. Oh no, he's already moved that golem, so he's not, yeah. I mean, he could blitz the zombie and then retreat, but it's a G if I had to get him safe. Maybe, yeah, it's no blitz. Is the golem blitz? Yeah, and then the GFI needs the GFI after this, right? Does it, I don't know that he needs the GFI because I don't think he's that worried. He's got more guard about uh, Jim coming in to put two guys on there to get a wolf hit on him. Yeah, fair. Yeah, Jim is going Jim to blitz a, a zombie. Yeah. yeah, fair as well. Going Jim's got the, the luxury, break. you know, he's got the luxury of being on defense and a one up, you know, he can just, any removal for him is good. And the re-rolls as well, like not needing to. Woo, and there, there you, you go. go. I mean, just quietly that, that might have uh, cast the golem. <laughs> oh yeah, it definitely, I mean, it definitely would have. <laughs> no, it wouldn't, because that was the second. No, 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 it wasn't. No, wasn't. the mighty blow yeah. would have been used on the first one. Yeah, then, you're uh... right, yeah. But he should have, he would have needed to invest more players. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm only joking. I'm only half serious for uh, chat purposes. And now, is that 10 versus 10 at this stage? I think it's 10 I versus. think, yes, I think you are right. The Patriots actually scoring touchdowns in a game. Don't know what's going on. Don't know how to handle that. The new age. No, no, no. I mean, it's the opposite of that. <laughs> that up quite nicely. I mean, do we, like, are we hitting the guard Wyatt with a mighty blow? Is that, oh no, we're going to hit the zombie. We're going to mirror Jim for the zombie, I guess. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I mean, a after their last matchup, Horn Knight has got to feel pretty confident that <laughs> as dire as it can get, he can still get this to overtime. <laughs> He's in a lot better starting position than he was last game. That's for damn sure. Well, that was 100% uh, sure. Damn and right, Pew you. Pew. Well, I don't know. I still haven't decided if I'm a Patriots fan or a Tom Brady fan anymore. It's a really bad time in my life. Well, what's the last thing you think about when you go to bed and close your eyes? Is the Patriots or Tom Brady? Tom Brady. Then there is your answer. There is your wow, answer. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Wisdom. <laughs> Wisdom from across the pond. I appreciate it, Fabio. Now going back to the game, I like the fact that the three zombie bodies of Jim there are extremely annoying. I am, Pew Pew. I am. I was rooting for Brady to kick the shit out of the paths the other week, though. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> squirrel. Yeah, I know. It's a real shame. It's like, what What do I have in sports right now? I don't even have the Red... Oh, wait, the Red Sox are in the ALCS, aren't they? Oh, shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, neutral. I don't know that I can answer that without making this channel not safe for YouTube uh, right now. So, uh, oh, well, well, that train left the station later. a long time ago. Well, neutral is from uh, Florida, so I'm pretty sure that every single person with an American passport knows who's Tom Brady. I think it's one of the questions that you get when you are going to get a driver license, gun license, passport, or anything. One of the questions is, do you know who's Tom Brady? <laughs> no, no, that's not true. If you don't care about the NFL, I can understand <laughs> not knowing or caring who he is. Mate, I'm from Spain, and Spain the NFL is not very big, and everybody knows who's Tom Brady. Fair enough. Fair enough. They know him as Giselle's wa uh, husband, right? Do they know who Deontay Wilder is, though? That's the thing. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. That's the shame of it all, isn't it? Anyway, back to the game at hand. The game, yes, yes, the shots being fired in chat. Jesus, Slim, you thought I was French. My accent can be many things, but French? Boxing about as fake as pro wrestling, too, try. Now back to the Blue Bowl game, I have to say that uh, I think Cornite is now in a nice position. Yeah, Jimmy, he's stabilized Jimmy pretty focus. well. Jimmy, focus. Jimmy, focus. Get out of this conversation and focus. Jimmy getting <laughs> uh, falling for the tricks of Trishvik, you know? Oh, God. Cornite paying off <laughs> try to troll Jimmy into losing complete focus of his game in a one-minute turn. <laughs> I can't tell. Oh, you're. Oh, you're talking. Okay, you're talking about fame here. <laughs> I can never tell because a lot of the times the Europeans think my accent is absurd. So. It is. <laughs> it's not that completely it's not, absurd. It's not that far off, man. It's completely absurd. <laughs> you're like a cartoon character, for God's sake. Oh my God. <laughs> Honestly, a British person making jokes about the accent of another English-speaking person <laughs> is absolutely hilarious. It's yeah, like I agree. I, that's what I always say. I'm like, I, I, you know, Famir's, uh, Famir's English accent is a hell of a lot better than my Spanish accent. So. Uh, I, I just got a text message. Bug, Bugs Bunny wants his lines back, Skrow. <laughs> I don't think you understand accents if you think I sound like Bugs fucking Bunny. <laughs> Oh, 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 my god, I knew he didn't fucking make that block as well. What a dickhead, because I thought I don't want to have to re-roll it, and then not only do I re-roll it, I dub skull. Oh, well, over time, I guess. Thinking about boxing too much. All right, stay focused, Jim. Stay hey, focused. Hey, okay, right. don't fall for Don't read the chat there. Jim, <laughs> it's full of evil people. Everyone stay focused here. We've, uh, we've got <laughs> yeah. a long way to go in this game. Grand... Final, folks. <laughs> Grand. <laughs> Drop it, <the> GG. <laughs> oh, it's Jim. Jim, Jim, Jim. There's the pal. This could be a horrible removal. It's not. That's some good news. I think uh, the biggest weakness in Jim's game, in Jim's uh, competitive Blood Bowl game, is that. He has an upper limit for how much Blood Bowl he can take seriously and handle, and it's always one less than the final game. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> really harsh, but really true. Yes. <laughs> yes. Really harsh, yes. but really true. Yes, oh, Trific right. there, you know, that's why uh, Trific have Zeus all over him. Corn Knight sent the check in the mail. This is Trif's <laughs> only way of winning money, is. Uh, <laughs>
Ah, uh, move the zombie first, man. Ooh, cheeky little one D there. Yeah, I'm not sure why. I just probably didn't want to get claw hit. Oh, I, like is this? The, I take it the zombie's not more moving. The the one. Oh, he's moving, and it's a. You need it to protect oh, the, the wall. Why. Yeah, but which but try free the golem. It frees the golem though, which is a, a decision. Try you've won money in Chalice and Blitz Pit, but you've won immortality in SFL. Even as a one-time winner, it's still the most prestigious win you'll ever have. Stupid effing league. <laughs> hey, banner. Pretty, mu pretty much. Yeah. The hardest right. thing about SFL is living long enough to see the end of a season because of how long it takes me personally to schedule games with people. Yeah, so this is the thing. That goal is not in scoring range, so Jimmy has the luxury yeah. of one more turn to try and reshape. He hasn't He hasn't got to do anything crazy. Uh, the, the, the turns are relatively low. I think, I think Jim would be pretty okay. Ooh, he cannot oh, re-roll that. I don't think he can. He can. Nah, you have to eat that one. That sucks. And... I don't think... Uh, I, I mean, I think Jimmy would be okay with Corn Knight scoring on turn 14. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't even think he's gonna... I, I think Corn Knight might make this to 16 now. I don't know. Yeah, no, Corn. I mean, that's... Oh, no, he didn't say... Oh, right, he went for the surf. He greeted the surf and got the double powers. Wow. Could have just knocked him down. Oh, he <laughs> got, got anyway. the KO oh, anyway. Oh, my God. Classic Necro right there. Oh, Absolutely my God. Absolutely classic. Absolutely disgusting. Disgusting images here in the final of the Blitz Pits. And he's, he's relying on a... Push? What's he doing from... with the ball, though? It, well, he's gonna he's gonna hit the ghoul with the golem and yeah, then slip yeah, the zombie yeah. in and then he's gonna move it down. Oh, double power! Things this are is, not I, looking I, good. I was just about to say this that this is definitely a power. It's only a stun though, thankfully for uh, James, <laughs> Jim, <laughs> and uh, that's a bit further forward uh, yeah. than I expected. He One. does see the other wolf that's right down there, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe he's baiting him in for another surf. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, man, uh, yeah, I guess so. No follow there. Yeah. Ooh, another follow. cheeky 1D with that. That zombie is the king of the 1Ds right now. Problem is with the 1D here is Jim just stands firm. Yeah. Uh, and then even if he got the knock down there, the, that zombie's not going anywhere. Yeah, if anything, he should have just started it off with the zombie. Hooked yeah. for the 1D pow, so then he has the ghoul, or the white The through. white to move through, yeah. yeah. Are we going to claw this wolf again? I guess, the, I guess the ghoul is forward because then it kind of makes the follow-up hit with Damn. the like, as a frenzy trap. I guess that's what... With a zombie there. And, uh, yeah, Jim just playing it safe, saying, you know what, if you want to score, you can. You're not going to protect us another turn. And uh, he'll be content with a three-turn uh, scoring effort, which I think is fair enough. I think that's probably the right play. Better than risking uh, risking yeah, his well, wolf on the end-around ball hit there. Going there, you know, do they have the chance of rolling a six? Yeah. And the, <laughs> you don't. You lose your wolf. It's not a good result. I don't think Corn Knight should be doing a whole lot else other than scoring here. Uh, maybe he's thinking about trying to protect us for one more turn. He can blitz with that uh, fleshy, yeah, to bring him down. 
You can't do a whole lot. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. This is just asking for trouble, though. This is a big balls blood bowl. It is. It, it could work out for him. This could be the thing that saves the game for him, buying him one more turn here and making it real hard for Jim. But, oh, I my mean, if goodness. he scores this turn, I think he just loses, but it's... But if he doesn't score at all, he also loses. <laughs> he might just lose the ball right now. Yeah, try. I agree. Yeah, I would have thought it would go double wide, yeah. I mean, I guess he's he's banking on, like, four against two here. So even if he does somehow lose the ball. All the dice. All, all the, the dice, time. all the time, all the <laughs> it's, it's impossible to enjoy this final unless you're watching <laughs> it. <laughs> In which case, it's a very enjoyable final. I think he's going to do hit the wolf. Uh, it's a frenzy trap. Yes, unless you kill a wolf in the first. Uh... Yeah, just kill it in the first hit. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I can the, see the that. classic, you know, instant death. But I, I, I do believe that if Corn Knight gave Jimmy a free turn without a riot, I think he probably. Or he could blitz the fleshy, two dice into two dice. And base the ball. Interesting. He could have moved down the, I don't know, the, yes, he could have done the block with one of the fleshies. No, 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 no. The both fleshies were tight. Oh, uh, yeah, no, that wasn't the play. This is the right play. And he's going to come around. Interesting. Careful, I mean, not... there with the, careful there with the sharps there. The thing is, if he comes around, then this, this uh, white he's is just going to score. Gonna... Yeah, he's just going to yeah. score. Jim will still have a two turn. Two wolves on a two turn is uh, uh, pretty good. You can't roll it. Yeah, because otherwise, I, I guess he was going to make the hit. And make the dodge with the golem? I don't know. He's not stalling this. Is he stalling this? This, this is iron balls of steel. I think that's his intention. I reckon he... Well, no, no. That white needed to go down one square. That white can't be in that square. The white needed to be down one more square. Unless he's gonna, he's gonna just take the one D. What's a mad lad? Blitz one D with a wolf. <laughs> this, no. Yeah. What? Hey, okay. Hey. <laughs> I got bad news for you, Court Knight. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah, guy. that guy is carrying the ball. This is. Oh horrendous. my God, Court Knight. He just, he must be so convinced that he can't win. Oh, oh, but now he can actually stall. He Whoa. can absolutely stall this out now. Yeah. Wow, balls of steel. Absolute balls of balls steel. Balls of steel. Could that wow. have saved the game for him? He needs to be down one. Yeah, there we go. No. Yeah, re can't reroll that. Oh! oh. oh. Doesn't regen. Ooh. Absolute <laughs> punish. I mean, he pulled a lot of good shit out of his ass there. What some? That was some ballsy playing, but he did lose that white at the end, and that is going to sting an OT. Oh, man. Jimmy here Wolf can cause a lot of damage to a uh, nice team. Wolf can get there. Um... Maybe. Absolute balls. Like, that was crazy. Yeah. 
Jim's it's playing it safe. Gonna base him up here. No armor break. Yep, That's his ball is base hit. Congratulations, Jimmy, for winning the Blitz <laughs> final. He is gonna need a double GFI here to get that uh, that zombie based up. I don't. Yeah, you just do it, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, yeah, I mean, it is. Well, the stall has caused the corner uh, two players, and maybe the game. <laughs> yeah. The blitz off is the play, right? You blitz him off, and then you've got the reroll, and then if you one in nine, then you dodge off, right? Yeah, absolutely. But boy, do you not want to have to reroll anything, but yes. You're totally right. Nope, he's just going straight in on the one and nine. Oh. And he gets it. Saves him. Saves himself the risk of a re-roll at the uh, cost of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. You know, it all worked out, so it was 100% the right call. Equity, equity, you know, for uh, kicks there. Oh, he's turned 16 anyway, so the KO is all right. He get, Jim gets the white back. The uh, wrestle ball is still out. And there's uh, yeah, a white and a zombie missing, so... I mean, so we go back. <laughs> we go back. Cornet absolutely it? cannot risk his his uh, his wolf again like he did in the last game though. He's gonna. But ugh, I think I just I think I just take I just I think I'd just line up and let Jim try and score his one turn. Eh, maybe that's too easy. Yeah. I mean the thing is is if Jimmy burns a reroll on the one turn it doesn't make it here, like <laughs> Yeah, try exactly. And the thing is, is, if Jimmy's trying to one turn, he's not claw mighty blowing like all your guys. Yeah, last time we saw Jim opt for um... maximum damage. Yeah, yeah, which is. And you again, Cornite just... is exposing and absolutely unnecessary the guard ghoul. He could have put a zombie there. At least his, at least his, his, uh, his wolf is better protected this time okay. than last time. Last time he got blitzed and cast. So. Well, that's what happens when you don't protect your uh, wolves. No, I wouldn't let him try the one turn, but I guess Jimmy trying the one turn is better attrition wise for Cornite. But yeah, no no way would I let him. Uh, you don't stand firm on that one. Yeah. Devastating LOS once again by Jim. Good thing he uh, opted mm. for uh, <laughs> for the attrition hits instead of trying to win the game. Oh, ah, close, <laughs> but no cigar. I mean, that's not an easy one turn, though. That's not like a... Oh, juicy target there gets the pow. Oh, KO. and there's a KO. Oh, that could be very, very big for the overtime. Uh, we're once again, we are, you know, grinding our teeth if we're on Core Knight's side of the pitch, looking at those two players in the KO box. He needs that Wrestle White or that Wrestle Ghoul back real bad. Jimmy, Jimmy going looking, for the SPP. <laughs> yeah, looking for a little SPP <laughs> style. It's on the replace. Here we go. What logo are we seeing in the top left, boys? Both Boss. KOs are back. And Ooh. it's the Necromantic. Necromantic have won the toss. Oh, it's the <laughs> other Necromantic. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, well, shit. you know, fair play, I guess. Jim uh, Jim won the toss last time. Uh, but we've got two full teams, right? Three. Yes, six, two full nine. teams. No, 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 no. It's just uh, ten. No, Cornet right? is losing and missing one player, I think. Yep. 
But he got his uh, he got everyone back, and he's on offense. Advantage Corn Knight here. Can Jim turn this around with some uh, brilliant defending? We'll see it in a few minutes. In the meantime, some stats in this. Yeah, it's uh, just normal. Uh, it's normal, squirrel. In this kind of matches, 100% uh, of the time, a Necro team wins. Yeah. That's uh, my addendum to the DBG's stats. I mean, what's the, what's the odds on Corn Knight not scoring using all his rerolls and Jimmy losing on kicks? Uh, after being 2 new up on rerolls. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because I, <laughs> I don't know. If they anyone can find a way to do that, Jimmy can. <laughs> yeah, they say lightning doesn't strike twice, but I mean, this is Blood Bowl, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy really needs to keep his head here. Like, this is yep. ultimate... Uh, what's the word Dio uses? Adversity, isn't it? This is ultimate adversity. This would be the worst time for Try to start slagging off uh, boxing again. <laughs> oh, starting with ball in hand too. As a uh, as an undead or necro player, you fucking love that. Absolutely, Magnus. Absolutely. <laughs> Good man, Jim. Good man, Jim. I don't want to see the wolf blitzing the zombie. Minimizing the risks here. Uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh ho, 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 ho. well, here you talk about Kekwiti. Okay, oof. Yeah, I reroll that yeah. 100%. Yeah, no, of course. Court Knight's only goal here is to just win this. <laughs> yeah, if you don't win this, you know, if you don't win this yeah. in normal time, you don't deserve to win. Like. Yeah. Jim should not use any rerolls unless it's a hit on the ball to save the game. Yeah. Oh man, it's tense. It's goddamn tense. It, yeah, it is. Bats clenching all over the wall. Really feeling the pressure of that early GG that Jim dropped earlier. It's coming into play here right now. <laughs> Randa. I also thought he said that for a second. <laughs> I'm the one speaking English here. Come on. <laughs> I'm speaking new English. Uh yeah. Okay. It's it's modern. It's up to get with the times, Dimmy. Don't live in the past, man. Live in the future. I know all England's got is the past when they actually mattered. But now we're in the future. Well, this is an all English final. This is an all English final. So uh, I'll think you'll find that England is very much. And, the and, and, and I think you'll find that you just had to admit that Newcastle counts as England. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> what is Cornet doing? He has a block with a golem. Oh yeah, okay. I was, before before this gets out of hand, please do not in any way take take anything I said as supporting America, because fuck this country. <laughs> <laughs> I do I do not want to be mistaken for someone who likes America. Okay, let's just get that out the way right uh, now. This country's a piece of shit. That's sure. so European from you, uh, Skuro. You Americans are gonna win up. Slagging <laughs> your country is the most uh, European thing. Oh God. This is. Risky. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. 
What's that? I, I, I don't, I'm not sure I like this. I hate this. I absolutely hate this. I don't know what the hell is going on anymore. Uh, very similar to his push. Uh, <laughs> his push in the last uh, in the last game on his offense when he didn't have a ghoul carrying the ball and he had to do all the blitzing and ball carrying with that wolf. Uh, but now at least he has the luxury of moving the <laughs> moving the ball separately from the blitz. Right, this ghoul needs to be in range, right? No, get him in range, and then you you GFY the zombie up the front. Oh, I don't know about that. I think I can wait one turn. Yeah, but if you don't get him in range, then Jimmy has a turn to settle. Yeah, uh, and now uh, Jimmy's got the settle turn. Maybe. Well, this could go wrong. If you're going to do the double GFI anyway, the ball might as well wrong. be in range. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. This could have, That could have gone wrong in a lot of different ways. Yeah, I didn't like that turn. Okay, huge pressure, huge stakes. It's, uh... But yeah, Jimmy's got a turn now to settle. Like He, he doesn't need to do anything crazy. He has the wolves, he has a wide with guard. Yeah, just just reshape, reshape. Just uh, get yourself over. <clears throat> I mean, the werewolf is a threat, right? The werewolf is a scoring threat. That is something. And maybe, maybe this is a big play to like go for the handoff and score with the werewolf. Oh, that will be, I mean, well, okay, I've seen crazier things, but that will be very risky, especially because the wolf is getting hit now. Oh, yeah, dealt with, yeah. Sorry, my dogs are freaking out. <laughs> this is going to be the squeakiest sideline push <laughs> you've ever seen in your life. And you think that turn for Jimmy is completely different if that ghoul is in range. Yeah, the ghoul's under threat, but like... If the ghoul's in range, that's... He can't afford to do this. He has to do something crazy. I guess he just blitzes that front wolf and... Uh, I mean, this might be GG, to be fair. That stun on that zombie is actually amazing, because that's a really annoying square. Oh, maybe not that annoying. <laughs> Just... In you go. Yeah. No. Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, the white needs to go. <laughs> this is so scary. I don't know what's going on. I mean, he's got to somehow feel the back end. This big. This he's thinking that was really. I thought I thought he was gonna re-roll that. No, really this is did. just a sideline cage. Not a base. It's not even side a sideline cage. cage. <laughs> so He's now, now he needs weight. the werewolf dodge. Oh my gosh! It, this is killing me, guys. What the hell is going on here? I mean, look, you know, Corn Knight likes to, you know, he likes to play it loose. This could just win him the game, but. Good lord, could it lose it for? <laughs> yeah, he needs. He needs. It's the biggest free plus of his life, I think. He's on well, the source. Again, as someone who's played in an SFL final, it's not the biggest anything of his life. He's already had that, but he does fail the one and three. The one and ah, oh, there it is. Okay. I think there's a um. Is there a ball surf here? Uh, yeah, it would be reds. It would end up being reds. To no. set it up. Oh, it'd be what? Yeah, two into red. No, yeah. no, no. There is a ball surf here. Yeah, there is. Jim, well, I mean no, Jim maybe definitely. Not a, sees... Maybe not a ball surf. Because he could have pushed the. No, uh, maybe not. Maybe not a ball surf, but he can definitely surf the wolf and a ghoul, or or like. Okay. I still think there's a ball surf here. No, he doesn't have the players, I guess, to get. He needs to, to get someone yeah. around the front. I thought he, he could he maybe needs... use. I thought he could maybe use. Yeah, yeah that's not gonna work. 
He's going to surf the white and have two guys in front of him, maybe. This, I mean, this is, yeah, this is better. A one in nine just loses the game here, right? No. Oh, this now looks horrible for Jim. Kind of looks horrible for both of them, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah. Yeah. Big DFI there. Now I'm just trying to blitz the werewolf free. Hand off to the werewolf and score. Is that a GFI blitz with the zombie on the floor? So now he has to go and tag this other zombie. Yeah, there we go. One, two, three, four. Yep. Oh, he's one out of time. Oh my god. So now he it's just a 1D. In there. Well, it's a 1 into red, though, if he does that. No, I meant like it's a 1D with a zombie on the white. Oh. 4 plus handoff, 3 plus dodge. What? It's just going to go. No, you can't do that, Corn Knight. You mad. That's bastard. a 1. No, that that's a 1D. A 1D for a push and then dodges. That's actually way better. Yeah, no, that's the right play. Ah, he gets the skull, though. Oh, oh no! Oh, he <laughs> one and nines it. Or not one and nines it, but... Oof. <laughs> and it's a turnover because it's the ball carrier. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now his wolf's getting served, right? Yeah. yeah. He, I think Corn Knight might have played one too many Blood Bowl games this weekend as well. He's, wow, the pressure must be absolutely Yeah, normal the pressure, there, it's exhausting. I mean, he was like two one in nines away from victory, to be fair. We might, we might. No, no, I know. I, I'm, I'm just saying, like, there were some mistakes there that Corn Knight doesn't usually make, I think. Woo! This is not over, though. There's still, there's still a bit to uh, for Jim to have to do here to uh, end the game without kicks, and then you know, who knows what happens. Oh, in my <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Jim can't reroll that though, can he? Well, I guess he, he can. Just did. Oh, in double lock! Oh! I don't think that was a good reroll there. I think it is. I think that's a good reroll. I, mean, I, I don't even know. This is way above my pay grade. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Well, none of us are being paid, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. well, yeah. Yeah. So above mine. <laughs> oh no! Oh my God! What a garbage round of dice. So now he just serves the wolf, and it's a three plus dodge for the win. <laughs> now he just serves. Oh the wolf my and God! A... Oh, corn knight. Oh corn my knight. God. Corn Knight counter GG'd at the perfect moment and then uh, might have just uh, won himself. This is some GG mastery in this game. Folks. I don't know. Oh. Why are you doing that? You just stand the ghoul up. Blitz with the wrestle. What? What the? F Why are you even making this block? Oh, so he doesn't have to dodge the white afterwards. Okay. But he should have stood the ghoul up first, because then it was two into two instead of two into one. Yes, he has the relates to it. Yeah, yes. he's, yeah, Corn Knight. Corn Knight just uh, realized his mistake there. Oh my god. What's that? Yeah, and now you blitz with the wrestle, right? And then you just walk it in. Oh my it's god. Still a ghoul of, uh, Jimmy's ghoul there. Uh... Well, yeah, I don't, is, I don't is, know what he's get, talking about. If you get the wrestle, then you, you get two hits at the white as well. Or you get, like, one yeah, hit there, the There's a ghoul behind those guys, Dimmy. That he oh, that's not with, his so. ghoul. That's, oh, okay. <laughs> that's Jim's ghoul. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm so confused. Yep. But right. now one of Jim's wolves is out. Uh, what? If he could have, if he could have done that without the blitz, then he could, he would have just, yeah, he would have been fine. But that's not the case, man. That white might have saved the game for Cornite snagging that loose ball. <laughs> no. Nope. Oh my God, this is crazy. The whole team, both teams are getting surfed. <laughs> this is mental, isn't it? 
My god, my god, what a final. Yeah, this is something. It's just like horrible. Imagine how bad it feels for both these guys. Oh, and now the ball's getting surfed. Yeah, well, you say that. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Fair point. Oh, the ball's getting surfed. I think everybody's getting surfed, yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, I mean, does that beg the question, do you just take the 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus as Corn Knight? In the last one. I don't know. It's horrible, isn't it? It's so like, horrible. The question is, does Jim, uh, Jim's got a wolf still, yeah. He's got a wolf free there. Or, not free, but mostly free. Super is it going free. to kicks? Corn Knight's got no rerolls. Jim's got one. Yes, Jimmy. Oh, man. Oh, what a play by Jim there, though. But now he's going to have to dodge. Imagine failing this dodge. Or the pickup. Do you re-roll the pickup? I mean, the pickup, yeah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, my God. This is... He's got, he's got plenty it of doesn't. time still. He's got plenty of time still. He's, got, he's move eight. What a belter. What a belter. Here comes, here comes some insane dice to save the game for Court Knight. <laughs> well, you can get the Wrestle Ball out on a 5 3. Oh, yeah, 5 3. Easy. Classic. We've dodged. Yeah. Yeah, this, is, this sure is something. They are absolutely delivering. I don't this understand why you did that, though. I would have tagged. The ball with the one of those zombies. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. Ah, mine. beer monkey. Oh, it four. Ah, this is Thank the blitz. The he's, gonna, he's gonna blitz off yeah. and base it with the flesh column, right? Um. No, the, the base flesh column. Dice. Gonna red dice. Red goal. dice. Jesus. And stay on the sideline. And blitz away. What the hell was it's this? Got a four plus, three plus over to the ball, I guess. Why wouldn't yep. you just? Ah! Why wouldn't <laughs> you just Almost blitz the it. golem free and base the ball with a golem? The golem's double based. No, but you blitz. You blitz the front one. Oh, yes, I see. And then you free. And, the, then, the, and then if you don't get the power, you take the four plus dodge, yeah. which is better than the four plus, yeah. three plus with the werewolf. Like. Yeah. All Jim's really got to do is pick this ball up now. Wow, that's what you say. All that he's got to do. I mean, that's <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I know what I said. I know what I said. What a final! My God, a heart attack roll here. This well, one, I'd probably. It's probably GG if he picks this up. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it is. It, it's basically. <laughs> He's got to re-roll this one. Yes. This is his chance to win the game. Oh, oh he snake! It. Oh my god! <laughs> is he in range? Is he even in range now? Uh, he. I think he is. He's got two turns, sixteen squares. It's GFIs. It's GFIs though. Yeah. It's like all Yeah, four, yeah. It's GFIs. It? Yeah, yeah. Holy shit! This is going to kicks, isn't it? It's going to kicks. This might go to kicks, 0-0 zero, zero on the re-rolls. Unbelievable. What's Corn Knight's play here? He's just gonna oh, double stuff. Oh, what happened oh, to everyone's oh, dice in this game? Oh my god. What are we watching here? <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say the same exact thing, Try. Thank you for beating me to the punch. Oh my goodness, what a game of Blood Bowl. Jimmy wasting two perfectly good frees there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if the scatter had gone behind him, then it wasn't possible without a handoff, right? So. Mm. 
He's Thank got the ball finally. Makes and it. He's got the GFI. And he's got the second, and that's going to be game. Well, almost. No, it's still GFIs, isn't it? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's still a GFI. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe even two, actually? What? No, okay. oh, I think it's one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those two zombies up top are, are basically the last hopes here. <laughs> That one zombie up top is basically the last one. Yeah. <laughs> and it's what? It's a four plus double GFI, just yeah. a base? Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Well, Enter. that's it. Hero play from the zombie. We have seen them before. We have seen them we, before. We have. No. But Not we won't tonight. see it again. And here and we go. Two plus no, for there was, there, doing... was, there was no one in that. <gasps> There was what no are these odds of a tripwire in this? Oh, <laughs> Jim, you, you should GFI. definitely style. You need to style your way into the end zone, Jim. You need to do your dance. Oh my god, he's oh gonna... God. Don't do the dance, Jim. Jimmy fantastic Don't. shit at this game. Oh, he's in, oh there it's There we go, he's done it, he's, he's made it. He's got it. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Time 24, Jimmy what fantastic wins the blitz speed in an absolutely epic... Networking match. Oh my god, what do we have witnessed here tonight? <laughs> what, what an absolute clusterfuck of a final at the end there. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable, but well oh played, Jim. Well what played, mess, but congratulations, well. Jim. Congratulations <laughs> and commiserations, Corna. You made an epic game there. My god, thank you. Oh very my much god, everybody. Jesus Christ. If we learned one thing about Corn Knight in these two games against Jim is that he does not put himself away with the early GGs. Glorious. No, I won't give me. Until game. I'm victorious. And it? I Thank will you very defend. Much, everybody. Holy I will moly. defend. Oh my god. Congrats, Jim. Oh, jeez. That was unbelievable. Glorious. Wasn't it? No, yes. I won't give me. That's how I say, it probably will I'm go victorious. down in history of one of the best this kid's finals. I will defend. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Thank you very much, Dr. Mabosco, for the five gift subs. Thank you very much. No, I Thank won't you, Beam for the raid. Andy Dale for the I'm massive victorious. raid. For the raid. And I will fun. defend. Well, thank you still. I will defend. Oh, my God. God, that was that was crazy. It wasn't just me, was it? That was like a crazy <laughs> match. <laughs> it was no, I won't madness. give in until I'm victorious, <laughs> and I will defend. I will yeah, the defend. worst part about winning now is you're automatically added into the next one. You're gonna have to play more Blood Bowl. Jim. <laughs> oh no! What a nightmare! Glorious. No, I won't <laughs> give in oh, until I'm victorious. What? That was and that was that defend. game made up for uh, the misery of. Three quarters of the last game you two played, where it's just like <laughs> watching you KO Corn Knight's entire team one player at a time. One game of blue, but I mean, surfing. Double Skulls, Tom Brady, everything you could ask on a Blood Bowl game. <laughs> Tried did his best to derail me, and then I stopped looking at chat after that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Steve. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. Oh my God! Yeah, that was holy moly, GG Cornay. That was a hell of a, that was a hell of a game, wasn't it? It was so hard to know. Like, you know, like I'm sure, obviously, both of us could have played better at various points, um, but it was like it was it was stressful, wasn't it? That was like, and it was crazy. It was so crazy, like <laughs> the like actually getting a chance and then just rolling the worst dice to not have anything happen, <laughs> and then like that one D reroll was like, oh my god, it was a three plus to win the game, basically, wasn't it? I like I felt like I had to do it. It was just crazy, but like maybe I should have rerolled the two D before. Or, like I've just got no idea. No idea what was the the last the last couple turns the dice for both of you were just unbelievable hilarious hilarious <laughs> it, was it, was of error. it was absolutely comedy gold and nothing worked yeah I, I don't know about you lot but I really enjoyed it <laughs> like we're, we're like trying to talk about the strategy of a game of two coaches who have just uh, been put right. into this horrific positioning on the sideline by their dice. <laughs> like, yeah. Corn, don't uh, hit yourself too much. You didn't do that many mistakes. There were many options in every play, and with one minute, all the pressure, you played a hell of a game. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was a hell of a game, wasn't it? Like, I don't know how much of it was how we played or whatever, but like, it was. It certainly felt really bloody hard. <laughs> like, <laughs> and in the, 
in the last part of the game, I didn't have a clue about anything that was going on. We're like, what's happening here? I, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, Cool Knight just wants to point out he's played twice the amount of games as Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's Jim and Gwyn's playing the minimum amount of uh, games uh, yeah, yeah, anyone has effort. ever played. Yeah, that that isn't that one of your, Knight, your qualifying sure. team's minimum effort or something like that? Yeah, it was minimum effort, yeah. And this, this really yeah. was, yeah. One, two, three. Only four games, yeah, because of, uh, because of Volk not making the first round. So, yeah, only yeah. four games. Woo! No, Congratulations, James. I think you deserved it based on what I saw. So, massive congratulations, massive commiserations to Cornet. I know it must hurt, but um, what a game! What a game we got to watch! What a game we got to see! And uh, what an exciting end to it! And I'm, I'm glad I wasn't playing because <laughs> that looked like hell. Thanks very Absolute much, Jim. Hell. It was. It was. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Try. That's harsh. <laughs> Original Chalice was horrific. <laughs> I, maybe I was playing terrible. Like I really don't know. Like I don't know. I really don't know how like how well Cornite was playing or how bad I was playing. But it was certainly very bloody tough. Like the entire game, just nothing yeah. felt. Nothing felt good ever. <laughs> and like I definitely, I made more KOs and I made ten KOs. So I guess, I guess like Cornite had to play quite well at some point because he certainly totally got diced out him, a bit. Jim. Yeah, he totally diced him. I mean, so, I don't know if it was a total that. His bloody I'm dodges. Joking, he ended up. He ended up going nine eight. But because uh, yeah, some of the dodges failed in it. The cars. That was an incredible one. The yeah, GFIs the, the cars. Yeah. That one sticks out in the memory. The, the big. That uh, white. Yeah, that white dodge into cars at the end of the second half. No, I won't that give was in. a heart. That was Until really hard. And there is the hype training and coming. Hype training. <laughs> Nipples! Oosh! <laughs> Nipples, thank you very much, Goliath. <laughs> wow, with that hype train, looks like Jimmy's going to have to steer those tracks right into CCL. Keep this party going, baby. Five games I... from Jim. Here we go. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. And now I'm going to fuck off and watch the Patriots. <laughs> Thanks, SCP. Thank you very much, Glory. Congrats, Jim. Thanks, Skuro, for doing the commentary, and Dimmy and Fymir, of course, for doing the commentary. Thank you very much, guys. And, I mean, I made loads of GFIs, but only had to make two dodges. Um, whereas, yeah, there was a lot of dodges attempted by Cornite, and it, but like that kept the, all the pressure on, didn't it, all the time? Like I just couldn't stall. I just couldn't stall in my drive, could I? That was like brutal. Yeah, the uh, the ghoul, the wrestle ghoul dodge. I didn't know about that. He could have just stood him. Yeah, I don't know. I like. Oh yeah, because that gave me the chain and stuff, didn't it? Like, yeah. Like, but um, I don't know. It was just just tough on it. It was just tough, like all around. It was just tough. I think for both of us, like we both were under the cosh. Like it was just brutal, wasn't it? It was just proper brutal, like for both of us, I guess. And. Uh, was brutal and like it made when with that last time where you had like all those surfs and you didn't get any of them. Yeah. I was so, this is hilarious. Yeah, I was uh, a little uh, bit sad about that. <laughs> quick, quick question for you, Jim. Right, if you're a corn knight and uh, the white is uh, there, do you do the four plus four plus three plus like without the reroll to just try and oh god, I, I don't, I don't even know what his best player was. To be honest, I, I, I just literally don't know. I wasn't I wasn't thinking about... Like, I, I, I ran out of time, didn't I? I? Like, I knew it was better to get my... Uh, I thought maybe she could have handed off to the wolf or something. I that was looking at that. Off. I was looking at the handoff to the wolf, but it wasn't easy. It would have been a 4 plus, 3 plus, And then... Uh, that's what I was looking at originally. But then when, when he decided to take the, the surf with the wrestle ghoul... I, I didn't realise for ages that the, the ghoul south was your ghoul. Yeah. <laughs> so I was just like... <laughs> I was like, he just walks it in here, like, this is it, it's GG. Yeah, and, then, and then Skuro friendly reminded me, he's like, uh, that's Jim School to me. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh okay. Skuro, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 there was the, the thing that. I was, yes, it was a mess, the last the part of the thing, you know, all sort over of the place, chain pushes, all God that. Goddamn mirror is... matches. Goddamn mirror matches. Yeah. And, like, isn't yeah. that one of your curses as well, the old mirror? Sure. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I just thought. I just thought I'll just mash in and make it hard for him. And like I didn't know if there was an easy out or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Because I just thought yeah. if I just bang all guys in his way, then he's gonna have less time to like. You know, he's gonna have to work it out in a minute. And I, I didn't. Like I'm sure try. Or uh, you know somebody, somebody clever 
would like work out what the best I what the best way out was and try and cover it or try and position to stop it or whatever. Whereas I was just like fuck it, you know, bang everything in and hope that something sticks. Like I I, I thought he I I. He's going to have to work out how to fix it. I don't have to work yeah. out what the easiest way is and then protect against it because he's just, you know, he's just going to have to. I'll just bang people in and hope it's hard enough. And obviously, it ended up. Yeah, yeah, yeah it came down. It came down. It wasn't to hard like, at all. It was a three plus. It was a three plus. One blitz. in nine. Yeah, yeah it was one a in three nine. Plus blitz and a three plus dodge. So it was really easy in the end. It was super easy for him. But then I just got really lucky that he wrestled. But. I'm just glad you. I'm just glad you beat that Necro team because I did say it was terrible at the start of this. <laughs> <laughs> My reputation was on the line. <laughs> well, I, I wasn't there at the start, but that was when I sat down. It was to see Jim playing against that team, and I felt the whole time during Cornet's game, even though Cornet played excellently, that he just had a worse team because he only had the one wolf against the two wolves, and at least in a mirror match, that wasn't the team to take to it. Yeah, that, well, that's what he said. Actually, he, he said like um, he thought his team was better against Orcs and worse in the mirror, and he did beat Orcs three times. Like he beat PC, and he beat Thor twice, I think. So like you know, he certainly he certainly did pretty great against the Orcs, didn't he? And yeah, so terrible it only made it the final. Yeah, I mean that's that's half the thing with building a team. It's like you you, you like you can't build a team that doesn't function against every race you know like you have to be you have to make sacrifices to make it competitive in all matches right i mean it was certainly competitive in all matches like it was it was a good team and it was a good coach and he got to the final and you know can't can't say a bad thing about the roster like that was the thing about the necro i thought like Orcs, there's just a definite team at 1,100 and just everyone builds exactly the same players. And then there's like a bit of difference in skills. But with this having that flex of like how much you spend on skills and how much you spend on the team, you can actually go over 1,100 for uh, for the Necro. So there's a lot of different options of like how you could build your Necro team. And uh, I, like, I just didn't know. And like, well, I mean, there's Tri, PTK, me and Cornite. We all made a different team, didn't we? And Although Tri chose like block on the... Uh, fleshies. There was. We still just all chose different teams. So yeah, it was yeah. really, it was really weird. Like, uh, I really don't know what the best necro team build would have been. Still. So. Uh, well, I think I think based on results, we now know the answer to that, and it's <laughs> yours, Jim, because you are the grand final champion. Woohoo! Oh, finally, adding a major title on BB2 to the curriculum. Yeah, finally, finally. It's so funny because when when it started and it was invite only, Gadenik invited me every time, and every time I did rubbish. I did so rubbish every time, and then and then once it got to qualifying, I never qualified despite you know numerous buys in in the first round, you know from from various you know things going wrong for you. I never could qualify, and then finally qualified and won it. Wonderful. So yes, very happy, very, very happy. And thank you everybody. And thank you for the commentary, absolutely brilliant. Um, and the, the prize for winning is actually $175. So thank you very much all the Blitz Pit sponsors, obviously Gadenik for running it and that. And yeah, and all the sponsors, absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, just You're thanks welcome. to everybody. <laughs> well, what, what are you gonna spend it on, Jim? Chicken and rice? Uh, hot wings. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. We got to do the hot work. ones, haven't we, Jimmy? Yeah, I'm up for it. I'm up for it. <laughs> Glorious. Um, All right. On that note, I am gonna bail and go watch the Patriots. Ah, uh, good night. Yeah, looks like they've got yeah. themselves a game I'm against. So, the I'm going Dallas. to bed too. It's been a very long day. Glorious. Right, good night, guys. Good night, Skiro, and good night, Fami, and thank you both, and thank you, Jimmy. Some closing thoughts on the game. Blood um, was played. Dice uh, were rolled. <laughs> It Thanks. was a game. Thanks, Fault Force. <laughs> Thanks, Fault Force. <laughs> <for us>. Best <laughs> commentary. <laughs> Save till the end. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>